Hello, and welcome to this Archer Point presentation on entering job task and planning lines. My name is Alex Wiley. I'm a senior pre-sales consultant here at Archer Point, and I'm here to lead you through this demo today. I'm going to start off by going into one of my jobs. If you do not already have a job created, go ahead and enter your customer name and then move down and create a task line. It's optional to use the task types of beginning and in total. These are used for planning and reporting purposes, similar to your chart of accounts, but they are not required. The only thing that's required is to have a job task type of posting, and this is what will allow you to enter planning line details that let you set your budget and your billable. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how to do that. Once your line's already entered, you do have the ability to just click here on this hyperlink and it will jump into those lines, or you can select line, job, and job planning lines. From here, you'll see that you have different line types. You have budget, which is for monitoring and planning only. You cannot bill against them. And then you have a type of billable, which is for invoicing, typically used for things like fixed price projects, and then both budget and billable. With both budget and billable, you can still report on what is remaining to be invoiced. As you see over here, we have our quantity, quantity invoiced and quantity remaining and posted. So uh, even with budget and billable lines, you can use that and still do full reporting on it. I'm gonna go ahead and select billable or type. We can use different resources. We can allocate inventory items. We can go to GL accounts, such as for expenses, or we can enter text. So if we're going to print this off and give it to the customer, if there's additional details, either internally or externally, you can use those just as how you use those lines on your sales and purchase documents. Let's go ahead and enter another resource here. Lena Townsend, come over and enter our quantity. Next, another optional field is our work type code. You can set up various work type codes if you would like to preset the amount that is going to be used and what that unit of measure is going to be. So now we see that I have my costs and we now see the outstanding expected line amount and how much we would expect to see invoiced. Once you create those, you can then do things such as create your sales invoices and create credit memos, reserve if you have items, and do item tracking for lot tracking. And from here, now you can go out and create your invoices and post. If you have any questions about using jobs, please feel free to reach out to us or leave a comment and we will get back to you. Thank you.